Hey, hey. Spring Lafay, Simple Tara. Uh, sorry about the air conditioner, but I've got to have it on. It is so hot up here, it will uh, roast the chicken. So, yeah, we're just going to get into the reading. Uh, this is for Pisces. So, yeah, I have like the water signs. I'm feeling them uh, now. So, I'm going to go into them. Pisces is the one I'm feeling first. Um, yeah. So, for Pisces. Okay, lack of fulfillment. I feel like they're, okay. This is lack of fulfillment, uh, not feeling very loved at this time, not feeling like things are going in your favor. Um, feel like you're standing alone. It's like um, people have just gone. They've left. Okay. Nine of Cups reversed. Please clarify, Spirit. Nine of Cups reversed. Okay, we've got the uh, King of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. I see. Is that you? Needing to bring balance. Needing to do some healing. Star card reversed. You can manifest what you want, but not, not like that. Um, okay. If this is you, you're not in a very good light. Someone's not in a very good light. This is either you or someone coming towards you. Um, yeah. You know, King of Pentacles upright is someone that, you know, they're working hard. They're doing their thing. They got it all together. Someone don't got it together. And then they're with the magician here. It's like they're trying to manifest what they want in a bad light. It's that type of feeling. You know, not feeling very... Um, it's almost like there's no love here. It's, it's like someone doesn't feel like they have any love. They don't have any love. Uh, there's healing that needs to be done in it, in a star card reversed. Something uh, needs to be healed and it's not. Temperance is here. You need to bring balance to something to do with love. Something to do with that cup. Knight of Cups there. Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirit? Carrying a lot of burden. I feel like you're carrying a lot of burden and everyone has just left. It's like, um, yeah. It's like you've poured your cuff out to people. It's like it's, you're done. It's like you're done. There's a lot of drama, a lot of fussing, fighting. I feel like that's you. I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like you're in a bad light right now. Something's going on. Something's going on with you, and you're not in the best of place. And you're going through a lot of drama with a lot of um, carrying of uh, burdens. And a lot of that, I feel like, is in within your own mind. Um, but a lot of it has to do with it feels like family or loved ones or such. And it's like they've just kind of they've, they've stopped. It's like they've just kind of just stopped. Maybe they walked away or something of that nature. You know, it's like you got strength card here because you need it. There's something here you need to be looking at and you're not looking at it. It's got to do with yourself. Okay. What is it Pisces is not looking at? See, we got the Nine of Wands here, but this is about what? See? In this deck, it's kind of like the Ten. See here? It's kind of like the Ten of Wands because it's like carrying this burden, carrying their own door. So, this is feeling like um, you really feel like you don't have anywhere to go. You see. The Knave of Pentacles is wanting to speak to someone, wanting to say something, wanting to offer something. But this is almost like a feeling like carrying your home with you, carrying your burdens with you, carrying... See, he's got his own door on his back. It's like he's toting it around, like where where to go next, where, where... It's like that feeling. Paraphont. Needing to reach for a higher, re, needing to reach to a higher power for guidance to heal what needs to be healed. Yeah. 
see the emperor that's god that's what we're getting with the higher font and then the emperor comes out with it um see it's like being in search of what you want but you need to reach to a higher power to help you to, to find that to bring the balance back to your life to find the the wish you desire and then you have to do the work though that's the thing um there's a lot of drama within these cards, so I don't know if you're dealing with a lot of drama, people putting drama on you, but you've got the High Priestess is here because it's like you need to follow your intuition. You need to not just jump into whatever it is that you may be thinking of. Um, there could be a whole lot more drama. Stars, you need to bring balance to your, your life, to your wishes, to your hopes, your dreams, because... Um, it's like, oh my goodness, I just threw one in the floor, I've got to get a hold of. <clears throat> Two of Wands, see that's like sneaking, and then that's the Four of Wands, that's about home. Someone may be sneaking something about home, a family, sneaking. Sneaking in and out, maybe someone's sneaking in and out where you're concerned, or someone comes and goes out of your life. Maybe family, they're there and then they're gone. Closing the door to the past, someone has closed the door to the past, someone's closed the door to someone. King of Swords. Now, okay, this is some, okay, this is about really thinking too much. Someone thinking too much, someone has health issues, may need help, someone may need help. Um, that could be you or that could be someone that you're dealing with that comes and goes. So, either you come and go in and out or a family member is in and out of your life and they may be having health issues there may be something wrong that you don't know about they actually have a lot wrong with them that you don't know about there's lots of issues it's that type of feeling yeah, so I feel like this is someone that you you um, this is someone it feels like that you've dealt with and they come and go. It could be family. It could have to do with this up here. This person's dealing with a lot. They've got a lot on their plate and it has to do with health issues. So you may need to look at that. Because um, that may be why they're you know, coming and going the way they are. Someone um, in this either you Or someone else follows everyone else. It's like a follower. You know, like follower, follower, follower. Um, but I feel like that this is really burning the door to the past. It's like really just, you know, someone has closed off to the past people in their life and it could be family members it feels like because I don't know it just feels like it didn't like there's drama there's so much conflict it's like they're there when you you know at one point and then they're not or the, you know you have to put yourself where you belong because I'm going to tell you for some of you this is you up here for some of you this is someone that comes and goes in your life so you have to figure that out. I feel like that for some of you, that's you up there, but not for all of you. See, so we got um, justice here, balance. Um, it's like you need to bring balance back to your life. You need to see the truth. You need to see things head on for what they are, and you may not be doing that. You see that? That's kind of like in the rear. You know, the rear view. This is like really seeing it head on. And it's got to do with, see there, look.
You see, that's the strength card, but that's like looking at why. And we've got the devil in the card. You know, the devil is about addictions and about um, things that are bad that can be bad. Not always, but, you know, yeah. Um, it's got that feel of, oh, see, someone needs to heal something. There I go, yawning. Um, and it could have to do with, um, i just be honest with you, it could have to do with addictions. It could have to do with behaviors, patterns that need to be looked at and they need to be addressed. And you've got strength here twice. You know, it's like looking it in the face. Then we have lovers here. Yin and Yang could be dealing with a soulmate connection, and it's it's like um, such differences. You know, when one heals something, if it's a twin flame and it feels like it could be, the other's going to heal something. I mean, it's it's like you're a picture of one another, your mirror image. So, hmm. Interesting. You see, that's the view we're getting. So it's like looking looking at the past. You see, that's different. Yeah. So, wow. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. You know, and it's standard. Um, haven't been being drawn to do that, but you know this this is kind of like um, really needing to look at yourself. Um, I feel like a need a need to look at oneself and uh, really do what you need to do for yourself. But in the extended, um, I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I'll tell you. I am going to, I'm trying to find a piece of paper to write down. I'm going to, for one, I'm going to look at if you're dealing with Gemini, because Gemini, that lover's card is ringing out to me heavily here. I'm also going to look at if you're dealing with a Leo, and if you're dealing with an Aquarius. See if any more are sticking out to me big time. Let's see. I'm writing over here, so writing down what I have feel like I need to look at, and then I'm just trying to see if any more are just sticking out to me. Um, 